in the previous video, we created the grid view, which uh, works in the archives for the products. But maybe what we need to do now is to add pagination to our archive. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll head over to the PRTNet interface for the grid. And you'll see we'd like to add some pagination to this grid. But if we head over to the options available to us to add items, the facet for pagination can't be added because there's no facet here. So what we need to do now is create a template. And in that template, we can then add additional facets. So to see how that works, I'm going to head back to the admin area. And what I'm going to do now is head over to facets. And what we're going to do is add a new facet and we'll call it uh, product archive pagination. And we'll publish that. And with that publish, we're going to edit with the PRTNet grid. And we'll pull in our grid and then we'll add this facet. So what we're going to do is add a facet here. And this facet will be a search facet. So it's a filter or it's a load. It's a load because we're going to load more posts and it's pagination. So there we have the pagination set up. And now you'll see how that we have the, uh, the pagination 1, 2, up to 10. And what we can do is also change the way that that looks. So in terms of the styling in the pagination, we can center that. So we put that in the center. Pretty much leave the rest as it is. Have another look at the settings. So it'll be the low, it'll be the pagination. But maybe what we want to do is we want to change that to a load more button. So now it will load more. Or we can look at um, just setting the number of posts per page. And you can select the number of posts. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to go with the load more. We'll center that in the middle of the page and we'll change some colors. So let's have a look at that styling and let's change the background color. And in this case, let's uh, maybe let's do a, a dark black and let's add the, uh, the border radius is fine. And then let's just add some padding. So let's make that button a little bit bigger than normal. So it stands out. So maybe something like that. So there we have the facet for pagination done but it's not linked to anything yet it's just pagination and we have to tell it now which grid it needs to be applied to so what we do is we head back to the admin and now what i'm going to do is i'm not going to create a template archive template i'm just going to create a template add new and let's create a product archive template and then we head over into edit with PRTNet grid. And now we can create a more substantial viewing than just the listing. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is pull over the, the grid and I'm going to select the product archive grid 2. So there we have our grid. The next thing that I'm going to do, you'll see now that I can add different facets to the page. So at the bottom here, I'm going to add a facet. And I'm going to change that to the product archive pagination. And it's going to apply to the grid, grid number two. So the load more will apply now to that grid. So we've effectively li linked that to this grid. And we can save that. So that template is in place. And what I'm going to do now is with this grid is just change the number of products included so that the pagination will kick in quite early. So I'll go to edit this grid. And what I'm going to do now is set the number of uh, posts uh, to display. I'm going to change it from our original setting, say from 10. And I'm going to change that now to 4. So it's just going to be 4 posts per page. And we'll save that. Now, when I head over to the page as it is now, and I refresh, You'll see that we just see the four, but we're not seeing the load more button. 
So to do that, we need to change this grid that we inserted for the template. So we head over to edit that template in Oxygen. Uh, edit with Oxygen. So Oxygen loading. Right, so with Oxygen loaded, now what we need to do is change this for the template. So what we'll do is we'll delete that grid. And we'll go to Add. We'll go back to our PRTNet grid options. And now we go to Template. And the template we load will be Product Archive Template. And now you'll see that the Load More button displays. And we can Save. And now we can head back to the Product page. And now when we click on the Load More, it will continue to load more items. So that's how we would include then the pagination with our grid view. So I hope you um, found that interesting. Thank you for watching.